على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم All praises to Allah who alone sustains the world exalted salah Blessings and all complete salam peace be on our master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family and companions the shama'il of Imam Abu Isa Tirmidhi has a collection of 339 ahadith and is divided into 55 chapters on the physical description and character of our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it has been printed on numerous occasions and many commentaries have been written on it the present English translation and commentary is of the Hasar al Nabawi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by the late of by the late Shaykh al Hadith Mawlana Muhammad Zakaria rahmatullahi alayhi it will enable a Muslim to achieve a link and connection with the one whom Allah Ta'ala has made mercy unto mankind. And most certainly Allah has spoken the truth when he mentions in his book, Verily you, O Muhammad, are of a very high noble character. A Muslim can only true, truly claim his love for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam if he attempts to follow the manner and lifestyle of Messenger of Islam. Finally, we ask Allah Ta'ala to reward us and that He will instill within us the distinguished, fe- the distinguished features and august character of the most noble Messenger who is the perfect, perfect example for all Muslims. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Chapter on the noble features of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The author has quoted that in the chapter of the of those ahadith that have been narrated on the noble features of Sayyidina sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it is impossible to accurately describe the actual beauty and elegance of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To draw a pen picture of his appearance is beyond one's capability. So we will start with hadith number one. Anas radiallahu anhu reports, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was neither tall nor was he short like a dwarf. He was of medium stature, but in complexion, he was neither very white like lime, nor very dark, nor brown, which results in darkness. He was illuminate, more luminous than even the moon on the on the 14th night. And the hair of Rasulullah sallallahu was neither very straight nor very curly but slightly wavy when he attained the when he attained the age of 40 Allah most high granted him nubuwa prophethood he lived for 10 years in Mecca see commentary and in Medina for 10 years he he passed away at the age of 60 years and at the time there were no more than 20 white hair on his mubarak head and beard there will be described in detail in the, in the chapter of white hair of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commentary. Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was of a medium stature but slightly taller. This has been reported in the narration from Sayyidina Hind bin Abi Hala radiallahu anhu and others. An objection may arise concerning that those two hadith that it started in one hadith that when Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to stand up in a group he appeared to be the tallest among them this manner that no one had ever reached a higher status than Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Kamalati Manawiya likewise in the Surah Zahiri apparent appearances no one could excel him it is stated in the it is stated in the hadith under discussion that Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in in under discussion that Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam lived for ten years in Makkah al Mukarramah after Nubuwa prophethood. For this reason it is stated that it is stated that for this reason it is stated that he attained the age of 60 years this is contrary to what has 
contradict what has been reported in the other hadith where it stated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam lived there for 13 years and <clears throat> came the age of 63 years in some hadith it is stated 65 years at the end of, of this kitab all three hadith will be quoted Imam Bukhari radiallahu anhu says most narrations show that Rasulullah wasallam lived for 63 years. The ulama have summed up all these hadiths in two ways. First, that Sayyidina Rasulullah wasallam received nubwa at the age of 40 and risala at three years. Risala three years. Thereafter and after then he lived for 10 years in Mecca al-Mukarrama. According to this, the, tr- the three years between Nubuwa and Risala have been omitted in the Hadith under discussion. The second explanation is that frequently in calculating fractions or small numbers are not included. For this reason, Sayyidina Anas radiallahu anhu, radiallahu anhu had o- has only calculated in tens in his narration and omitted the units. In the Hadith, there was the age of Sayyidina Rasulullah is mentioned as 65 years of birth and death are included in separate years. In short, the content of all ahadith is the same according to most authentic ahadith. The, the age of Rasulullah was 63 years, therefore all the other hadith will col- col- corroborate this. Hadith number 2. Anas bin Malik radiallahu, radiallahu anhu taught Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was of medium stature and he was n- no he was neither very tall nor very short. He was very handsome, of medium built and his and his hair was neither very curly nor very straight, but it was slightly wavy. He had a wheat coloured complexion. When he walked he leaned forward slightly. Commentary. In this hadith, Sayyidina Anas radiallahu anhu states that the complexion of Sayyidina Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was wheat coloured and the previous hadith was also narrated by Sayyidina Anas radiallahu anhu. He states that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not have a wheat coloured complexion. It had been mentioned in the translation of the hadith. Actually, what is derived from the two hadiths is that Sayyidina Rasulullah was not of, dark, of a dark complexion that would decrease the lightness and beauty of a person, but had a radiant and light colour which was slightly wheat coloured.